What is up everybody, it is AJ here and in today's video I'm going to show you my top tips to start saving battery life in Windows 11. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up and if you want to supercharge as well as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. Here's a tip for everyone that loves watching videos on their computer and it's optimizing the battery life when playing videos back. It's a really simple setting that will definitely help your battery life. To do this, we're going to go into our settings. And on the left hand side, we're going to select on apps. Under apps here, the second last option from the bottom is video playback. We're going to open up video playback and we're going to scroll down to where it says battery options when watching movies and videos on battery power. You can see there's a little drop down menu that lets you optimize either for video quality or for battery life. I'd recommend turning this, this on for battery life and I can tell you that I don't actually notice a difference in the quality of the video when it's on battery life optimization but I can tell you there is definitely a big improvement in battery life when this option is turned on. This next battery saving tip is transferable to basically any device with a screen, not just Windows computers, but it is going into your settings and turning on a dark theme instead of the light theme most devices come with. On Windows, we simply go into settings. On the left-hand side, we go over to personalization. And then of course, we go to where it says colors, which is the second option from the top. We select on colors, and then you can see here the first option is choosing a mode. We can drop this down, we can choose light. You can choose dark theme, you can see everything's gonna turn dark. Or you can actually have a custom theme here where you can have windows in light or dark and apps running in light or dark so they can contrast. But if you want the best battery life, everything should be in dark mode. This tip to saving battery life is a new feature in Windows 11 20H2 build where you can actually go into your task manager and turn on a mode called efficiency mode on certain applications. To do this, we're going to right click on the start menu, scroll up to our task manager and look at all the applications we have open. We're going to select an application such as Microsoft Word and you see in the top right hand corner of the task manager, there is a new mode called efficiency mode and we're going to turn this on and basically what it does is it will limit resources used by this program. I'm going to turn it on, then we're going to say yes, turn on efficiency mode for Microsoft Word and it will reduce the battery life that Microsoft Word is gonna take on your computer. Not all programs can actually have efficiency mode turned on, but if you have a lot of programs opened up at once, I would recommend going into the task manager, taking a couple of seconds and turning on efficiency mode. You can see in the status here, both Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Word are running in efficiency mode, so when they're running in the background, they're not draining as much battery life as they normally would. The next tip to save battery life is really quite simple, but it's making sure your computer is up to date. To do this, you wanna go into your settings, and on the left-hand side, you wanna go on the Windows Update option, and here you can either check or install updates, or you can see mine actually has an update that failed to install, so we're simply gonna go on the Retry All option, and it's gonna look and check for updates. This is gonna make sure if your computer is running laggy, slow, or with really bad battery life, installing these updates will make sure it runs to optimal performance, including optimal battery life. This next battery saving tip is about stopping applications that automatically open up when your computer first turns on. To do this, we're gonna right click on the Start menu and go up to Task Manager. In the Task Manager, we're gonna go on the top left-hand corner which is called our closed navigation option or open navigation option and scroll down to where it says startup apps. Here we can see all the applications that open up when our computer first turns on. If all of these were enabled, there'd be lots of background processes that are simply taking up battery life and performance of our computer. If you wanna disable any of these programs to not start up when you turn on your computer, simply find the program that you wanna turn off such as Messenger from Meta and go on the top right hand corner called disable Select on the option, and that's gonna stop it from opening up when your computer first turns on. Maybe you wanna stop Microsoft Teams from opening up. We select on Microsoft Teams, and again, select on Disable. Going through and turning off these applications is gonna improve the performance and battery life of your computer. The single biggest culprit that is draining your computer battery life is most likely the screen itself, which is why I recommend reducing the screen brightness. I used to keep my device at 100% brightness all the time just out of habit, and I found it was A, really bad for the battery life of my computer, but even worse, really bad for my eyes. What I'd recommend is trying to keep your screen brightness to about 40 to 60% of peak brightness, and this should do wonders for your battery life. It may take a little bit to get used to. I'd also recommend going into your settings and turning on auto brightness, so your computer is gonna automatically adjust to the right brightness depending on the situation that you're in. 
To do this, we go into our settings and the first option there is displays. We're simply gonna select on our display options and at the top here, it's gonna have the brightness. You can see mine is already at peak brightness. You can use the slider here or the keys on your computer to manually adjust that brightness. You can also drop down this menu and make sure these two options are ticked. The first one of change brightness automatically when lighting changes, as well as helping improve, optimize the content of the brightness that it's showing. These tips by reducing the brightness and automatically having the computer adjust the brightness for you will do wonders for your battery life. This battery saving tip in Windows 11 is by going into the power and sleep settings in your settings menu. So simply go over to our settings and we're gonna look at how we can change and optimize power and sleep for battery life performance. From here, we're gonna scroll down to the fifth option from the top, which is power and battery. And we're gonna look at a few different settings here. The first option I wanna look at is power mode, which is second from the bottom, where you have a little drop down menu where you can actually change recommended best or better performance. If you're doing really intensive work like video editing, I'd recommend turning this on to best performance. But if you're doing general things like web browsing, Word documents and emails, I'd recommend leaving this on recommended because that means it's gonna give you the recommended settings for optimizing battery life as well as computer performance and not just giving your CPU full power. The next thing I wanna look at is your screen and sleep settings, which is the top option here. If you drop down screen and sleep, this is gonna ask how quickly do you wanna turn your screen and your computer off when it's plugged into power and when it's on battery. I'd recommend putting this to the lowest option that you think is possible for you. By default, it's set to five and 10 minutes. You could go even lower and maybe turn it off every two or every three minutes. I personally leave it set to five and 10, but really do what's best for you. This next tip to save battery life is one I'd recommend to turn on manually if you know you're gonna need the longest battery life out of your computer. Say you could be out all day and you just want your computer to last as long as possible and it's by turning on battery saver before it gets to under 20%. To do this is really quite simple. You've got a few different ways to turn on your battery saver. From your task menu down the bottom, you can scroll over to the Wi-Fi volume and battery icon, select on the battery icon and scroll up to the battery saver and simply turn this option on. Or if you're actually changing customizer settings of your battery saver, you can go into your settings, go over to the fifth option to, from the top, which is called power and battery. And then you can scroll down to where it says battery saver and actually drop down this menu here and you see a few different options. You can choose to turn your battery saver on or off right now. So I'm gonna turn it back off you can actually adjust how quickly battery saver turns on. By default, it turns on at 20% battery, but you might want it on all the time, or you may never want it on. So you could say always turn battery saver on, and this basically will turn off a lot of notifications and reduce background activity. And then of course, one of the most important things in the way it saves battery is you can have it automatically turn the, bright, the brightness lower, or you would turn the setting off. From here, this means you could actually have battery saver turned on, but not lowering the brightness of your computer. But if you wanna save battery life for your computer and make sure it lasts you all day, you can simply turn battery saver on at the start of the day, and this will give you the best chance of getting the most battery out of your laptop. And there you have it. It is that easy to start saving battery life in Windows 11. Irrespective of what computer you have, whether it's a Microsoft Surface, a Dell, a Lenovo, a HP, or anything else, if you use these tips, you'll start saving battery life on your computer. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way is your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.